Hey gang, this is your coach Jeff here with Stronger Life. Um, welcome Stronger Life members. We got a packed house here for our Zoom call live, super fun. And welcome all of our Strong at Home members if you're doing this later uh, after it's been recorded. Today we have got a two part workout. First part is the strength component, it's deadlift or picking things up from the ground. If you're not comfortable picking things up from the ground, you're always welcome to use a small stool or something to elevate it so you can cut down on the range of motion if you're not quite at that comfort level. Uh, but for a lot of people, uh, deadlift or picking things up from the ground, we're not, we're not moving a great distance, so we can do a pretty heavy weight. Um, you probably want to have something a little bit adjustable um, if you're not sure what weight you should be using, but we'll be doing five sets of five repetitions. The last set will be open. If you can do more than five repetitions without taking a break, go for it. That may be eight or 10, but ideally we're trying to hit an intensity that we're only gonna be able to do maybe um, two or three more reps than five if we have that much weight available, if you're comfortable with deadlift. If this is the first time, don't sweat. Just focus on form, focus on your technique. Um, after that, we're going to have a 10-minute AMRAP, which is as many rounds of reps as possible. Uh, three movements. We're going to be doing step-ups sideways or laterally onto a step. So if you've got an aerobic step, great. Um, if you want to use the first step into your house or in a staircase in your home, that will work too. We would like for you to add some weight to that at your comfort level. So if you're pretty good with step-ups, and stepping up sideways, feel free to load that up. Use a moderate to heavy weight with that um, if your hips and knees are okay with that. Uh, we've also got low bear crawl. Um, so instead of butt in the air, we're gonna have our knees pretty close to the ground um, and walking. Uh, if that is not something that's in the cards for you, you can absolutely modify that. I've got a chair over here um, and I'll demo a little bit later, but this would be what your chair crawl would look like. We've got alternating pairs moving. We've added a little bit of weight to the arms, so it's still dynamic strength uh, for our core, uh, but if you're gonna do it from the ground, we'll also go over that. Um, and then the last thing is we've got a little bit of dynamic balance and core work. We'll be in goblet position where we've got a weight up at our uh, collarbones. If you've got a stock pot, something like that, you'll hold it here. Um, but we'll be doing a tightrope walk where we're gonna try to walk in a straight line, heel toe, okay? In the workout, that'll be 30 steps that way. So we've got 10 lateral step ups, 20 steps bear crawl, just forward. Um, and then we've got 30 um, tightrope walk steps in our metabolic conditioning. So we'll go through each movement in our warm up. Uh, but the first thing I'd like for us to do is deadlift is a little bit different than squatting or coming up to stand. So it's not so much that we're trying to focus on getting lots of knee bend. A squat is really a hip hinge. So most of the movement should be coming from your hips. So we want to focus on your back staying straight between your hip to your shoulders should be straight. You're going to hinge by sticking your bottom out letting your knees bend slightly, and trying to keep your knees over your ankles, okay? It's okay if they bend, your knees bend a little bit, but we want this not to be a squat, but we want it to be a hinge where your butt goes back, back stays straight, you get a little knee bend, but for the most part, your lower leg strength stays vertical, okay? So we've got a straight line here. Okay, so to work on that, we're going to do what we call good mornings, and that's to work on getting our hamstrings loosened up, waking our booty up so it's ready to lift. So, got a broomstick. Um, you can have an imaginary one. You don't have to have a broomstick to do this, but you'll put this on your back, okay, about here at the, at the base of your neck, at your upper traps, kind of the meaty part of your neck. And you're going to get your feet a little bit wider than hip width. And you're going to hinge forward, kind of like you're going to bow at a crowd. Bow to the crowd in front of you. Let your knees bend slightly and your bottom goes backwards towards the wall behind you. Hold for two or three seconds. And then we're going to come up. I want us to do 10 of these. 
Okay, so let's do nine more if you've done your first one. Bottom goes back, back stays straight. Looking forward, one to two seconds and back up. You can do these at your own pace. As you get warmed up with this, feel like you've gotten a movement pattern down, I want you to tighten your core, okay? This is the same pattern we're gonna be doing for our deadlifts, but we want our core to be actively engaged, okay? We don't want it to just be our legs and our arms from holding the weight that we feel, but we want our tummy muscles to be nice and tight, So that our back is staying nice and straight. We don't want to get in position, add the load, and then our spine to collapse into this flexed position, okay? Good, I'm gonna do two more, I've lost count. Good, okay. We're gonna work this position a little more, but we're gonna do it with a different movement. So I'm gonna have you Put your hands like this, kind of like you're pretending you're getting ready to jump in, dive into a pool. Same setup, so feet are about shoulder width apart, and I want you to stick your bottom out and reach your hands towards the ground. You don't have to touch the ground, but I want you to go at least a halfway down your shin. So get that nice soft knee bend. Let's do 10 of these. Bottom goes back. Tummy stays tight. Try to keep those shins vertical, okay? So knees should stay basically over your toes during this warm up, okay? Feet just a little wider than shoulder width. Hold just a second or two. Should feel this in your hips. Should feel a little pull in your hamstrings. So you should be tight, should be breathing. Don't hold your breath. Good, I'm gonna do two more. So this is the same position you're gonna use for your deadlift. So you get down, you hold the weight, tighten your core, lift all the way up straight, and then you'll bring it back down with the weight once we add the weight, okay? And we'll warm that up a little more. Um, right before we do our deadlift with some weight to check form. Next, let's uh, keep moving through our movements for the rest of our workout. We've got lateral step up. So I'm gonna have you do your first set of step ups, five on your right leg, five on your left, but no weight this first time. Let's do it without weight to start. Just stepping up sideways. Both feet up on the step, both feet back down. Five with the right, five with the left. Good. Good. So we've got five of those, each leg. Once you've got that, gather back around. I'm gonna review bear crawl. And hopefully you guys can see me okay. I hate that this room is a little dark. Um, but if you're gonna do this from the floor, let's see, you should be able to see me here, okay? My bear crawl is kind of up in this position where your bottom's in the air. For low bear crawl, we want you to bring your knees close to the ground, okay? It's still alternating pairs moving. So we want the right arm and left leg to go forward, then the left arm, right leg. And we're just gonna work on going forward. For the workout, it'll be 30 steps. I'll show you going this way one more time. Knees are close to the ground. Trying to go alternating pairs. If you mess up and you're moving the same size, that's okay. That's okay. But this is what we're going for. If you're going to try this from the ground, if you're going to do it from the chair, light to moderate weight, something you can comfortably do a rowing motion with. Do 
you'll still do alternating pairs, right arm, left leg, left arm, right leg. Okay, lifting up to your chest, keeping your elbow in close. Okay, so this will be your chair crawl. If you're gonna do it from the floor, let's go ahead and practice that. Let's practice uh, 10 steps or 10 repetitions uh, chair crawl. Each time you lift an alternating pair from the chair, that counts as a step, okay? Becky getting after it and getting after it. Look at you guys, this is great. Kim, good work on the modification like that. Gee, I couldn't see you, but you definitely convinced me you were practicing. <laughs> good deal. All right, I'm going to get my 10 steps in. Good. Okay. Next, we're going to do our tightrope walk. Um, you can use a light weight if you feel warmed up enough to do so. If you want to do it without a weight, that's totally fine. Tightrope walk, what we're going for, we want to be heel toe in a straight line if you're able, okay? If that's too difficult, you can either go a little more distance between your feet or you can widen your stance. You can still go heel toe, but maybe you've got a little separation, okay? I'm going to grab a lightweight. We can go goblet position like this, or we can go goblet position like this, okay? So let's go ahead and get 15 steps, heel toe, imaginary tightrope. Okay, so that's all our movements. I want to start back at the top. And I want us to do uh, 10 good mornings, okay? 10 good mornings, that's the one with your stick, if you've got one. Once again, feet or shoulder width, or maybe a little bit wider. Bottom goes back, back stays straight, tummy stays tight, and hinge. Most of the movement should come from your hips, a little bit from your knees, as you get most of the way down. Hold for just a second or two. Give yourself a little stretch at the bottom. Really important, we work on keeping our core tight and controlled so when we add the load, our spine's ready for it. Anything you pick up off the ground, you wanna think about this way, this movement. Great. We're gonna do our, kind of our swimmers diving position. We're gonna do 10 more. I want you to reach down towards about mid shin. Now, I'm not trying to hit the ground with these, but same hip hinge, but we're practicing like we're gonna get our weight. Okay, so no weight, but I want you to start thinking about it. I'm gonna reach down, butt goes back, back stays straight, grab my weight. Make sure my whole body's tight. My glutes should feel like they're ready to push. Core should be tight and up. Good, just like so. Good. 10 of these. Thinking about, gonna grab the weight. Everything's nice and tight and controlled. Back down, relax, pick it up. And actually, it's okay when you're doing your sets of five if you maintain that tension the whole time. That is a-okay. Let's get our 10 reps there. And let's go to our step ups, but let's go ahead and add a light weight. So you can either, if you feel pretty warmed up, go ahead and use the weight you're planning to use for the workout. If you're like, you're not quite warmed up yet, do something in between. You're allowed to, if you want to do weights at your side, 
You can do that if you would prefer to do that rather than goblet position, because we are going to have goblet position for the heel toe. If you do it weight down at your sides, it should be easier to go a little heavier if you feel comfortable going heavy on these. But five times each leg with some weight. Make sure you're still focusing on good posture as you come up. And make sure you're not just pushing off with your bottom leg. We don't want the leg that's staying on the ground to be doing the work. We want the leg up on the step to be straightening and that to be where our strengthening comes from. Good. Once you've got your 10, Step ups, let's do 10 steps, bear crawl or chair crawl. 10 steps, bear crawl or chair crawl. On the bear crawl, try to get your knees within two or three inches of the ground. Keep your tummy nice and tight. Alternating right and left pairs. Just going forward today. We're not doing that crazy backwards one today. Good. Once you've got your 10 reps of chair crawl or 10 steps of bear crawl, let's do 15 steps, goblet position, tightrope walk. If you're planning to use weight for your tightrope walk in the workout, Go ahead and grab your weight and try it out. 15 steps, heel toe, or as close to heel toe as you feel comfortable. Great. Very good. So it's two times through each of our movements. If you're going to use weight, you should have at least practiced that a little bit um, for each one. Um, and let's get back to thinking about our deadlift, which we should be pretty warmed up for. I would like for us to practice a lightweight deadlift. So even if you just have like maybe a little dumbbell and there's a lot of variation between the heavy weight you're going to use, I would like for us to warm up with a set of just one set of 10 repetitions with a lightweight dumbbell um, or a moderate weight, something lighter than what you plan to use for your five sets of five. So I just want to make sure we've really got this warmed up. So just a reminder, if you're using a kettlebell, the weight should be in between your ankle bones. Okay, feet should be a little bit wider than hip width. You should be reaching straight down. It should be a straight up and down line of movement for your weight going up and down. It should not go forward and back, okay? So let's go 10 reps here. Push the knees out to the side. Go one, two, three, four. Five, tummy stays tight, keep breathing. Ten, all right, good. Technique is looking good there, gang. Let's catch our breath, let's get a little sip of water. We'll be doing five sets of five of deadlift. If you're gonna be using a heavier weight, get it ready. I'm gonna get our timer ready. Since we're gonna be trying to go pretty heavy if we've got enough weight available, um, I'm gonna give us a little more than a minute. I'm gonna do a minute and 15 seconds. If we're pushing a heavy deadlift, probably gonna get us a little out of breath.
Okay. I haven't used this station before, but it, I think it's working out okay. You guys all right with this? A little Disco Monday? We've got set number one coming up, five repetitions. Okay, we wanna to try to hit that seven out of 10 intensity. You'll have a minute and 15 seconds for each set. Um, you wanna make sure that you're keeping your back nice and straight, core is tight while you're lifting, okay? For, before you lift that weight the first time, don't wait till you feel the slack come out of your body to then tighten up. We want everything nice and tight before you lift off, okay? So let's start in three, two, one, five deadlifts. I'm gonna watch you guys, then I'll do mine. Good. You guys are crushing these. These look great. Rona, I'm not sure what you're lifting, but I don't, I think I want you elevated a little bit or don't go down quite so deep. You're passing parallel when your when your object's going down that's a little further than you should need to go see if you can elevate it i'm going to go ahead and do my reps here your ideally your hands are just going to go to about mid shin so if you're going past mid shin and you're getting way down here that's a little that's a little too low that could put you at a little unnecessary risk Oh, that's perfect, Rona. That looks good. Yes, good. Okay. So that was good. That looked very good. Um, unfortunately, I ran you into your rest break. So take a few deep breaths before you do your next set. But it's time for set number two, five repetitions. Go ahead. Five reps when you're ready. Tummy nice and tight. Make sure you're breathing the whole time. Don't hold your breath. Don't let that core relax in between reps. Lean in, make sure, yeah, that looks good. Rona all the way up tall at the top. Perfect, that was it. Don't need to hyperextend it all, just up all the way straight. Yes, perfect. You guys look good, I'm gonna knock mine out. One more quick note. When we do squats for super wide, I talk about driving your knees out. And in a squat, that's gonna be pretty, that's gonna look a little more exaggerated. Knees going out this way for a squat, okay? Deadlift, you still can push the knees out a little bit. We wanna make sure when you do your deadlift, your knees do not come in. You wanna to drive to push them out. Now, because our foot position is not that wide, you're not gonna see as much excursion and hip rotation pushing the knees out. But still wanna be thinking about driving those knees out or locking our feet into the ground like we're pushing little saucers out to the side, okay? Great. I'm talking way too much, but you're getting extra rest. So that's not bad, right? <laughs> okay. Set number three, five repetitions. Start now. Five reps. Yes. Looking good. I don't see any collapsing knees. I'm seeing good movement. Mid shin, up tall. Very good. Don't need to hyperextend at all. It's really common, especially as people get tired, to want to hyperextend back like this and try to lean their body weight 
um, to try to make it easier, but you just you just need to stop in neutral. Very good. Okay. About 20 seconds. Focus on your breathing. This is set number four, I believe. Four, right? Yes. Set number four. Three down. Okay. Got five seconds. Five repetitions. Five perfect deadlift repetitions. Three, two, one. Go for it. Looking good. Keep that nice straight line of action. Weight touches the ground and comes straight vertically. I love it. Standing up tall, not hyperextending. That looks great. You guys are looking good? I'm gonna do mine. I'll give you a front view in case you can see a little bit of that corkscrew action when he's driving out. The knees go just a little wider than the ankles. And that's okay. Yeah, good. All right. Set number five, the fun one, open set. Open set will be next. Still have 20 seconds to rest. Catch your breath. Think about your form. Every repetition counts. We want good form. We want our core to be active. We want to be breathing. Says the guy who's totally out of breath. <laughs> okay. All right. Last set. You can do max reps unbroken with perfect form. Okay. Form falls apart. Stop. Don't put yourself in any risk. Let's start in three, two, one, go. Five or more, five or more reps without a rest break. Seeing some really nice knee position on you guys. Getting that nice soft knee bend, driving the knees out to the side. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. Okay, I'm gonna hop in with you. So very good, very good. See you guys still going. Good grief. Like 20 reps. <laughs> very good. The good news is form looked good. I saw some new components of movement that looked even better than last time we did this together. And I think Dustin got to take you guys through this before. So I can't speak to last time, but last time we did it, I didn't see all these components. That knee. Knees pushing out, back's nice and tight. You guys look great, love it. Building some good strength. Foundational movement. We all have to pick stuff up from time to time. So let's get a little sip of water. Um, I don't know if it's just because I'm talking too, but I'm way out of breath. Let's take some deep breaths. Let's get ready um, for the metabolic conditioning. Just a reminder that it's 10 step ups, okay? So there's a couple ways you can do that. If we can't always control how many rounds we get in. So if you want to do five step ups on the right, five on the left to make sure you keep it even, you can do that. Or if you're going to um, just kind of keep track of time and only split the last set and just go right side one round, left side the other round, totally up to you but moderate to heavy weight if you feel comfortable with that for your step ups. So 10 step ups, 20 steps chair crawl or 20 steps bear crawl with the knees close to the ground. Then it's 30 tightrope steps, heel toe or as close to heel toe as you can with the weight if you can, okay? Now that is goblet, okay? So if you don't wanna do goblet for your step ups too, um, you can do this position 
arms at your side with your weight for your step ups. Or you can do both of them here. That's totally okay. It will work on your posture. It's just a little more difficult to hold this position than it is here. And this position will allow you to hold more weight if you've got it. So this is just a 10 minute AMRAP. So it's not that long. We got three different movements. Um, there's a leg heavy, there's a core arm and leg, and then there's a balance component. So there's not a lot of redundancy in this one. So you should be able to push this pretty hard. It's only 10 minutes and using different muscle groups in different ways that we've not already beat up in the strength component. So feel free to push this one. Pitch my breath just a little bit more and get my timer set. Okay, any final questions? I'm gonna take a sip of water and give you guys some time if you have any questions about the workout before we start with my tiny little water glass here. Okay, not seeing anyone rushing to the keyboard. I think everyone's ready. It'll start with 10 step ups, lateral step ups with a weight if you feel comfortable with that. I'm gonna turn our music up a little bit. Listen for the beeps on the timer. Um, the third beep will be a little different, but we'll be starting in 10 seconds. Nine, eight, here we go. Four, three. Good, all right, 10 step up. Step ups, 20 bear crawl or 20 steps chair crawl. Knees close to the ground. steps, bear crawl or chair crawl, then 30 steps, heel toe in that tightrope position. Remember, it's a short one. It's okay to push the pace. We've already got two minutes down.
15 step ups, 20 step chair or bear crawl, then 30 tightrope walk steps. Heel toe. Step up once you finish your heel clear walk. Five more minutes. Keep up that intensity. Step ups, 20 chair bear crawl, and then 30 time rope steps. Keep the moving game. You guys are looking good. Those steps, heel toe, straight line like you're walking a tightrope. Good, just a minute and a half to go. Ninety seconds. Ninety seconds. Make 
sure if you're on your last round of step ups, if you've been going right and then left, you end on an even set or split your set. Five right, five left. You do it even. Sixty seconds. Keep that intensity up. Keep yourself moving. Almost there. Forty seconds. Forty seconds. Almost there. Five seconds. Woo! Man. Ooh. Hopefully you guys enjoyed that. You made it look easy. You made it look easy. Was that too easy? Was that an easy workout? Was that too easy? You guys made it look super easy. No, no, okay. No, <laughs> let's take some deep breaths. In through your nose, out through your mouth. Let's, let's walk a couple laps and then we'll stretch out some, okay? Deep breaths in through the nose, out through the mouth. Okay. <laughs> yeah, fake it till you make it. You're like, this looked easy. We just made it look easy. It wasn't easy. I like it. Okay. We're going to start with stretching out our forearms. We did lots of gripping today. We gripped for deadlift. We gripped for our goblet squats. We gripped for those other things, step ups. So what we're gonna do, we're gonna put your hand out, elbow straight, and pull back. Now, if you get pain with that, you can give a soft bend in your elbow. But if you can, I want you to straighten your elbow first and pull your fingers back. Yep, perfect, good. Let's take a few deep breaths here. Okay, so keep your hand, you've been stretching, oriented the same way, but this time you're going to let your hand relax down, and we're gently going to pull this way. So when we grip, we use the muscles on both sides of our forearm, and we want to stretch them both out. Just make sure you're gentle. If you're having pain with this, release, them, release the tension or bend your elbow slightly, okay? Don't want pain, just want a gentle stretch through the forearm. Good, let's switch. I'm gonna shake my arms out. <laughs> my arms are tired from just holding the mop now. Okay. Uh, fingers up. Let's pull back. Elbow straight if you can. Get some deep breath. You should feel this on the front of your forearm. Switch. I'm going to shake my arms out in between. <laughs> okay. Then we're going to pull down. So 
hands relax down, pulling gently, probably around where your knuckles are, pull them back towards your body. Go stretch, gonna run your elbow right through here. Okay. I'd like for us to do, I'd like for us to do um, just a little bit of gentle spine flexion and extension from standing. Sounds fancy, right? It's not. It's simple. But what I want us to do, I want you same position that we did where we were working on sliding our hands down, but this time I want you to bend your back. Okay, so I want your chin to go down to your chest, and then I want you to roll and gently let those joints flex. Just reach down to where you're comfortable, and then I want you to do the same thing in reverse, but let your spine bend, and then come up, just to neutral. Okay, we're gonna do four more of these. Nice and slow, go at your own pace. Should not be pushing through pain. We worked on locking the spine out in neutral or in a little bit of extension and doing lots of lifting. I want us to flex and get, get that movement worked back up there in case we got a little stiff. Just go to where you feel comfortable. Then go back in reverse order. Low back through your mid back. So your shoulders are back in neutral. Okay. Chin first. Gotta think about the movement, joint by joint in your back. Each little joint, we want to get a little bit of movement. Don't skip any. All the way up. Okay, I think that's five. I'm really good at counting today. Sorry about that. <laughs> so I'm gonna have us um, hand support in our low back, feet wide, and we're gonna go ahead and work a little bit of that hip extension and back extension. Look up. Go back to the little stretch, hold for a second or two, and come back. Let's do five of these. Look up. Hips are forward, and back down. Nice and slow. If it feels pretty loose, feels pretty good when you go back, you can actually exhale and hold a little bit longer. So I'm going to inhale in through the nose, then once I get into position for my stretch, I'm going to exhale. I'll get that little extra stretch at the end. Should not push through pain to get that, but if that feels good, go ahead and do a couple of those to finish. Good. All right, we're gonna do a little hamstring stretching. If you've got your step handy, we're gonna go toes up. Once you get your knees straight, your back straight, and hinge forward. We're gonna do a five breath count hold here. So butts pointing back in the wall behind you, back straight. You just got your heel resting on the step. Five deep breaths here. Good, and let's switch. Bottom goes back, chest stays straight. Try to keep the knee straight and two toes pointed up. Should feel a nice gentle stretch between your knee and your hip on the leg up on the step. Good. All right. Dang, that was a great workout today. Hopefully, I just don't think you guys got a much of a workout. You made it look so easy. I love that. I love that. But hopefully you got to challenge your, your lifting. You got to challenge your balance. Um, step ups, doing it weighted sideways. That's crazy, right? <laughs> I mean, 
you should be ready for anything with these workouts. You guys have done a wonderful job. Hope you have a wonderful day. Gonna have some beautiful weather. If you've got time to go out for a walk, 15, 20 minutes, get some sunshine. Feel free to take a break if you feel like you need it first. Or if you got time, march on out there and enjoy this beautiful day. Love you guys. See you tomorrow. Stay strong. Let's see a few biceps before we sign off. There it is. Love it. Woo!